Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. Right now on Full Throttle Saloon. Tomorrow, we're going. It's Debbie or Full Throttle right now. If I don't quit, I lose my wife. You make the choice. If she's going to leave me, there's nothing I can do to stop her. Don't have to get mad about it. You know how respectful it would be if you just let me finish okay. what I have to say? I'm tired of it. There was a cover charge last night. Hey, if you're f***ing with me, I swear to God, did you charge a them cover charge? I charged a cover charge. That's bull Why did he have to charge on Jackal Night? The last time that I'm playing on that damn stage, bull you. I'm done. You can kiss my ass. I thought you knew. It's about to get real ugly. I'm done. Saloon. Well, today's Friday. Make sure you stick around tonight. It's Marshall Tucker live on our main stage. If you survived last night's show, holy smokes, the Jackal show went crazy last night. It was incredible. That show last night was the best show that's ever hit this stage in the 12 years we've been here. And the buzz is all over town about it, no matter where you go. Hello, it's Mike. Hey, Mike, this is uh, Russ Miller. I'm the producer up at Black Hills Fox News. Hey, Russ, how are you? We're getting calls that Jesse James Dupree uh, has fallen off uh, 11 stories and possibly died. What? Radio station out of Utah that said that they were up at the full throttle last night, and Jesse James Dupree, singer of Jackal, uh, fell 11 stories to his death or something last night. I didn't tell the guy really offhand right then what was that he was okay. I just told him, hey, I'll check it out and see what's going on. Because I thought, you know what? Let it fly a little bit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I seen him at the show last night, but I hadn't seen him today. I'll, I'll get into it, and I'll call you guys back and give you a heads up. It's, it's publicity at the end of the day for the throttle. Hey, where are you? I'm over the car. Just got through marrying a couple. I just got a phone call from Fox News that said they're getting phone calls out of Utah from some radio stations over there that are, and, 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 and people are calling saying that you fell to your death last night. No, man, I'm getting done. I'm good. I'm, no, I'm good. I'm All good. right. I promise I am. Uh, I've been sitting over here signing six packs of Jesse James beer for the last hour. All right. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, later. I'm alive. So my phone, my text, my emails are just blowing up. People calling to make sure I'm still alive. Somebody spreading a rumor that I died last night. Oh my God. Uh, things got way exaggerated and out of control. Okay, ready? Are all y'all getting the too? Yes, we are. That's why we're here bright and early this morning. This, we, came the other day, we're like, we didn't even stop for breakfast this morning. We said, hell, let's go straight there and get our tattoos. I'm sure you'll get breakfast. All right. You sure? We're good. Right. We'll make it. Well, I've been wanting to get a full throttle shot loon tattoo. Uh, I've been waiting every night patiently. Then we made arrangements for me to come in the afternoon one day. But I guess there was a big to do with Sean or whatever about all of it. Anyway, so this morning, I was here at 8 o'clock in the morning, so I was in the front of the line, so there was no arguments about it. Then here comes Steve-O. This is Jim. I'm going to miss you, bud. Yeah, you're not going to get tattooed here, bud. Steve-O tells me that I can't have a tattoo. Apparently, you got the X on getting tattooed. Perfect. You're walking in front of the customers. Yeah. Perfect. A tattoo artist should be tattooing our customers, not our employees. Not to sit here and do special little drawings for Rusty. You're going to have to get that tattoo drawn some other time. And kiss my ass at this point. I'm basically fed up with the bull. You don't tell me what I can, I cannot do. That incident yesterday just set up Sean, so I'd probably just go get to work. Oh. It's a done deal. Yes, we all this. I mean, I don't have to deal with the bull. You need more bartenders? I'll take you after jackal night because it's so big and it's thursday and there's a lot of people that leave on friday but we still have two days of business to run and a lot of people seem to forget about that we start getting really short-handed but we still got two days 
of rally to do. We still got Friday and Saturday left here. Um, and we've still got a nut to crack. What about the bridges? Are we, there's nobody on the bridges? There's nobody at Goat so Michael will be pissed. It, they're all big nights. You know, we need all those bars up and going. But I'm sure bartenders, where else? There's none under here, right? You're missing a girl here or over there. We have the beer out there, we just need the personnel. You know, if a bar is down, that's $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, just gone. We can't be doing that. Hopefully we have enough for the night shift. What have we got? Goat zone, big bridge, little bridge, camper, under bridge stage. Nobody under that. God dang, that's too big. I thought we had somebody under that one. That's becoming a huge issue right now, is getting enough labor in here to get us through to the end of the week but we can't have that happening here. So we're shorthanded all the way around a block from bar bags to, to bartenders. We got a hole, too big a hole with the big bridge under yeah. the bridge and the camper. That's too and big a of a hole. There, so. Everybody's starting to fall off. They're tired and wore out. They're starting to leave. They're quitting. They're not showing up. It just, it sucks. I had someone out there, but she was sick or whatever, so she took off. We're going to get, we're going to call some people to come in. If this facility was open, year round, of course it would be smooth and no problems. However, when you take something this large and you try to get it up and working and it's there for 10 days to work, there's gonna be tons of problems. That's just the nature of the beast. No, Let me know when you see Sean. You got it. I gotta staff this place. We gotta, we gotta make sure we're staffed up tonight. She needs to start calling other people in. His father oh, Gary. His father Gary. I, I've got so many reasons to be proud of this year's Jackal Show. The hell out of the full throttle, Tom. Oh, full throttle. And, and especially whenever I looked over and saw the smile on Todd Love's face. Come on, man. After all the craziness the day before, I wanted to take Todd and his dad out, show him what the rally was about. Damn boy, get it. Todd has blown up over in Afghanistan. He's one of only a handful of survivors since the Vietnam War to survive a triple amputation. There you go. All right. It means a lot to me that, that the guys in Jackal have really embraced him. You know, they, they support all of the troops and everything, but because Gary and I went to school together and Todd went to the same high school, and now to have them out running around with my brothers in Jackal is a special day and it makes me feel great. Excellent. <laughs> I just asked Ursula, can we use David and Kayla for front door cover charge, or do you need them? I do, I'm, I'm on that with Sean now. I already went through, I just had a meeting with her about Kayla and David, Angie. You don't have to get mad about it. You just always interrupt me, Michael. Well, was you going to tell me something I didn't know? I'm tired of it. There's always going to be some kind of problems when you have a facility like this. Do you Regardless know how respectful it would be if you just let me finish okay. what I have to say and you just say, oh, OK, that's what I already knew, too? OK. Sorry. Hey, Jesse. Hold up. Why did you sign off last night? I heard uh, they charged at the door. You actually let them charge at the door? I didn't door? sign off on him charging at the door. At first, I thought he was bull me. You know, I'm thinking, you know, yeah, right, whatever. So there was a cover charge last night. No, there was not. I don't even yeah, start there Huh? Yeah, there was. you. Are you me? Don't tell me there was a there was. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. You better. First, is Mike in his office now? I don't know. That wasn't what the deal was. Michael Knight had an understanding that he wasn't going to charge for the jackal night. If you're, if you're with me, I swear to God. Sometimes I just don't understand him. Where's my cat? Did he charge a cover charge last night? From what I understand, he did. From what you understand, you know if he charged. Did he charge a cover charge yeah, last I night? Yeah, I have a cover charge bag. Why the did he charge a cover charge? I mean, that Listen, was I don't know. He's making decisions that I, have, I don't know about. Too sad, so sad for Princess Jesse, I guess. He didn't get his way this time. But that's a deal between you and him. I don't know what the f he's thinking right now. That's bull. You'll have to just if he charged, Man, if he charged a cover charge, it would be the last night that Jack was on the damn stage. I was told I can't get a freaking tattoo, that I cut in front of people in line. I've been there since 8 o'clock this morning. I'm off the clock, and I'm not allowed to have my tattoo. Sick of it, man. I'm sick of freaking every damn 
everybody here, they think they're, they're all in control, and they're, they're a bunch of freaking crybabies, man. When I'm off that clock, I should be able to do anything I want to do. I busted my ass for this place. I poured my heart and soul into it. I almost died in here. It's just a bunch of crock of right now. Uh, hey, quick. I'm done. I told him we're going to pack up our crap tomorrow, and we're just going to go home. Tomorrow, we're going. If I don't get confirmation today that this is over and all this crap is done, we can do our freaking jobs. That's it. If he can't see that they're going to let him be abused like this, he can't see that, then you know what's going to be the future for us? I'm telling you, you make the choice. It's Debbie or full throttle right now. If she's going to leave me, there's nothing I can do to stop her. You do it. He put in almost 200 hours in two weeks out here, and he's gone home. He's been in the hospital. He's given up everything to try and do this job and do it well. And I've kept my mouth shut. I'm telling you, I'm serious, and I'm not going to do it no more. This place has caused so much strain on this relationship. That's how bad it's come down to. If I don't quit, I lose my wife. She was so drunk, she didn't even know her name hardly. Thursday Jackal Night. Some of our girls just have to get out and cut loose, have a good time. But unfortunately, I'm missing Stephanie, I'm missing Morgan. Been shuffling around bartenders trying to fill spots in our main bars, and I've still got four bars I need for bartenders. Heading down to the cabins. I'm gonna knock on a couple doors, see if some girls are a little hungover and ready to work. 25% of our staff has probably been lost. And that's just due to like, you know, some people aren't just cut out for this making me walk my fat tubby butt all the way down to these cabins. They come up thinking that they can handle it, and then all of a sudden they realize that you're going nonstop from morning to night. Basically burns them out, and then they're just out of here. Hi. Remember me? I'm Steve. I'm your bar manager for the Full Throttle. Where's your friend? I missed you this morning. What's wrong? Where have you been? Here. Are you coming up? No. Really kind of sucks, you know, that they're here and they're not willing to work. Because I need people on the bars open up, otherwise Michael will get pissed. Well, so we're not going to see you today? I'm going to go get some food and go downtown and enjoy the city. It's just that handful of girls that, that kind of come from princess land um, that, that throw a wrench in the whole system. Bye, Steve. Okay, Steve. I just can't have that. I'll get up pretty early in the morning and run down and do all the trash at each cabin. That's a hell of a job. Oh, somebody might be in there. You know, one tooth Paul, he does all the odd stuff. He'll pick up the garbage, and he's kind of a weird character, but so are 90% of the people that work here. You know, this is nice up here. I like coming up here when the storms come through and sit and watch them. It's pretty cool. I stayed up here on the hill the other night with a couple girls in a van. They painted my damn toenails when I was passed out. <laughs> they're still painted. I don't like the color. We got a couple of girls that are going to repaint them for me. I want bubble gum pink. <laughs> Can you help me get these flowers because I need someone to take them up there soon? I've had the plan of giving the girls flowers and a tip ever since last year, actually. I just haven't had the right moment to do it. I'm trying to trick the girls. I got them all each a rose. OK. And But it's coming from a, they don't know what's coming. Oh, I see. From. OK, OK, OK. I thought you wanted like in good writing or something. No. The flock girls have just kicked ass this whole week. And I know what goes into this. And they work all year long to make this happen. And I just wanted to make sure that they knew they were appreciated. There you can put holy catfish. I like big butts on this one. That'll be for me. This is so sneaky. They'll never know. Look at how meth, look at how this looks. Does that totally look like a dude oh, yeah. did it? <laughs> And the greatest part about it is they'll never know it was me because I even made a flower and card for myself. Love your number one fan. So I put a $100 bill in each one of those. Wow. It's just nice for anybody to get something like that, but especially girls. Girls just dig flowers.
Now, I was already pissed off because somebody stacked a bunch of pilots behind my truck, so I'm out there slinging this out, sweating him. It's important to me to try to keep the jackal knife sacred, you know, and the cover charge thing's always been an issue. You know, do you know where Mike is now? Well, I would say if his white truck is there, he's still there. If it's not, Back here? Gone. Back there, yeah. It's just something that I'd like to get a whole year without telling people that there's not a charge there to get in, just to make, just to sleep better at night, you know? Did you charge a cover charge last night? Dude, did I you ain't charge even a cover charge? Yeah, I charged a cover charge. That's bull did you charge a them cover charge? I charged a cover charge. That's bull bucks. that is bull it happened. You know what? That is this. Well, hold on, and I'll tell you. Said, well, we're going to do that. Hold on, and I'll tell you why no, I did. No, you don't hold on. There ain't no excuse for you charging. Hold on, and I'll tell you why I charged. Time, it's the last time that I'm playing on that damn stage. It's bull. You, out of here. Did you charge a cover charge last night? Dude, you I ain't even in the mood. Charge. I charge a cover charge. That's Can't bull. Run. That is bull. It happened. You know what? That is this. Well, hold on, and I'll we tell you. Said, well, we're going to do that. Hold on, and I'll tell you why no, I did. No, you don't hold on. There ain't no excuse for you charging. Hold on, and I'll tell you why I charged. Time. It's the last time that I'm playing on that damn stage. Bull. You. Out of here. I'm done. He can kiss my ass. I'm sorry. I thought you knew. I'll just leave you alone. He didn't hesitate one second. No, I charge the cover charge. I, I mean, I can't believe it. I don't know what makes that guy tick sometimes. I know he's under a lot of pressure. I just don't know why. I mean, we, we've upped the level of uh, all the entertainment this year. Everything's been great. Why did he have to charge on Jackal Night? What's up, dog? This beast is bigger every single year. I get it, but I just wanted to keep the Jackal Night sacred from charging the cover. It just makes me not even want to come back and play next year. Mother We're gonna double tonight. Today is always the day that everybody starts. They're just burnt out. Get out of my bar, she says. They're like, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. And they quit. So we end up shorthanded on bartenders, barbacks, you know, everything across the board. People drop out of here. Double tonight? I'll stay here. I'll go there, whatever. So we got to get new people in. We're having to pull people from first shift to work. The second shift doubles. Double? Yeah. And then when, when that happens, my payroll goes up through the roof because they end up in overtime. Double tonight? Um, not tonight, but tomorrow. It's kind of coming down to the point where sometimes uh, employees that don't really want to bartend, <laughs> have to go out and bartend. Double? No. No? Nope. Double? Hell no. Double? No! We'll get them full, one way or the other. So I might be bartending tonight. We'll see. Well, I had no one today. And you had a couple people quit, too. These are all your doubles? Most of them would prefer, some of them prefer me in the kitchen. That's all I wrote down there. So, but I already went around and talked to the girls. People come to this rally thinking they're going to party. It's going to be a big fun. Then when after they're in here for, and, they're, and they get in the trenches to go to work for about three or four days, they figure out real quick, this is a, this is a real job. Yeah, we need bartenders. Pull my office people or or whoever I have to pull in in, in there to run them bars. We're going to we got to have them open and going. Marsha, the cook, get her ass in here. Sean said, get your ass in here. I can sell out of your stuff. When do you want to start? Right now. Come on. Okay. You know, I hired a girl today right out of the crowd. She comes up, she goes, I want to work for you. I go, you want to start right now? She goes, yeah. So boom, here we go. We're going to be shorthanded, I know. So let's get her on, let's get her paperwork. We're at the point right now where we can grab anybody we can and kind of get them in, into the game and get just to get through the last two days. No, I'll see you later. All right, perfect. I don't like the color of my toenail. If I got to have them painted, I might as well have a color I like. You ready? I think what they done, they painted them real quick and put my socks, <laughs> socks back on, because when I got up to take my socks off, they stuck to my damn feet. <laughs> When's the last time you washed your feet? <laughs> you have toe crust, like. <laughs> I ain't got to take a shower in two days. <laughs> this toe's, like, bumpy. It's broken. <laughs> Please remind me to wash my wounds. 
And it looks pretty nice. <laughs> Sexy, huh? <laughs> Gotta have a sense of humor being here. I don't think I've had enough beers today. <laughs> Hey, did you guys see, did Jesse go in his room? That's... What do you see? Okay. Be alone. Did you know, did you know that was going on last night? I had, I was back trying to fix your spotlights and get that. I had no idea, and then I got told this morning. If Michael wants to do something like that, then he needs to let Jesse know in advance, not the day after. I didn't sign off on it. Well, I thought you knew. I didn't, I didn't mean to. Get in the middle of all that. Thanks. I mean, that should have been taken care of. That's a business thing, you know. Just simple. I'm gonna charge a covered charge, and it's over. My blonde girls have shown up yet. The security cameras are showing that the girls are starting to show up now. So I, I'm just really excited to see their reaction, that kind of stuff. Oh, they're there. To the ladies of flaunt. I picked red roses for you girls because you're on fire this this fire year. There was a flower and a little flower card for each one of us. Love your number one flaunt fan. See, he wrote stuff on the card. On the card. Shut the up. Oh my god! What? 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 Awesome. And there is a hundred dollar bill in every card. <laughs> Do you know how much money that is? That's $800. Yeah. Oh, holy <laughs> I totally was like, oh my god, yay, oh, we got a flower. God. $100? Do you who does it? this? I have no idea who would have dropped off such a wonderful gift for all of us. This. Oh, my love for you, you spicy little thing. <laughs> oh, we need to seriously find out who did this. So we're just like small town girls that were like, hey, let's take our clothes off for fun. And they do something like that. Like, it's awesome. There's two guys that actually have flaunt tattoos. Maybe it was them or maybe Michael. Oh, I'm going home. I already made my money today. <laughs> <laughs> If it was up to me right now, I'd leave the property. Two white lines and two Jesse James. But I got responsibilities that I've got to follow through with. I've got to move all the beer that I brought on this property. i got to get through that liquor that I brought onto this property. Excuse me? Hey, can we put some of these under and get cold? We're going to move these things tonight. i got 30 cases to go through. It's a high mountain to knock down. Is that good right there? I suppose. I do what I say I'm going to do, and I'm going to get those guys before I get out of here. I think you beat the other night. Yeah, but that's bull****. I did not know nothing about no cover charge being charged last time. There wasn't supposed to be no cover charge. You know what it's about. Yeah, I, I know what it's about. I know it's, I know what it's going to not be about next year. It's not going to be about my ass up there. I'm done. and I'm here partying at the Full Throttle and I'm going to be working with Jesse promoting his whiskey. I'm going to be wearing his logo today. Oh, I've had six surgeries to get to this. 36K. This is not natural. One, two, three. <laughs> Having the time of my life here and I can't wait to get painted. You ready to rock? Yeah. Huh? Yes. So you want to go over to the, um, you want to go over to the body paint place? gonna be the human billboard for Jesse James Whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get some other bowls, some ice. I wish this whole thing was nothing but an ice rack. I almost quit. I did. I got thinking about it. I'm not going to give him the satisfaction of making me quit over not letting me have a tattoo. All right, guys, do you, do you know how to do the image? My wife kind of really got upset about that one. We'll throw a couple more in here. I want to have some time with my wife, though, and I really haven't found time for it yet. I got to go out to the truck real quick and take care of them. And I love her. And I'm going to make it up to her. I'll make it better, I promise. Please don't quit on me, honey. I, I love you to death. Deb and I, she took a lot from me this week because she got the worst of me. 
It's gonna be okay, baby. I'm trying to be flexible. And I guess it just got to the point where there's just no more flexibility left in me. Everything will be better tomorrow, I promise. Pick the right woman. I waited 42 years for her. I wouldn't trade her for nothing in the world. Everybody wants to see burnouts, right? You see some pretty pink toenails? I don't mind employees, you know, having a few drinks and stuff and blowing off some steam when they get off work. This guy's taking this thing to a whole new level. Who's got better toes here? Oh, he's got a You got pretty feet. I might just keep them. Toe kiss, toe kiss. Now that's a man that's pure masculinity. Actually, I'm a woman trapped in a man's body. Depending on how many drinks you get down them, sometimes he just does stuff completely out of his mind. That's pretty nice. Well, that Go over there and get some movies painted on your chest. I might do that. I wish that he would work as hard as he around. Wow, well, this is definitely a first for me here. I think if there's a thing as reincarnation, I'm going to come back as a woman. <laughs> What's okay. like big pepperoni nipples? All right, yeah. I ain't never done nothing like that before, but it was fun. Yeah. Where have you been? Nice city. You know, as hot as our bartenders are, I think some of them were jealous of his boobs. Hey, yours are bigger than mine. You know, they look so real. I didn't know if we should cover them with pasties or not. Oh, everybody liked it. People halfway across the yard would come running over to get their pictures taken and stuff. Even other guys. That's what kind of worried me a little bit. <laughs> Everybody said I had the prettiest man boobs they ever seen, but I don't know. Tune in Tokyo! Are you gonna be like Evo Knievel and jump both bridges next year? <laughs> As of right now, I don't know who's gonna be here next year on Thursday. Well, that's two of us. I don't know if I'm gonna be here next year either running it. Hey, Lictor's here and wants to take a picture of you and uh, Michael and I. Who, who does? Lichter from Easy Rider. Tonight? Yeah. came from me. It's so perfect. It made Gina and I get tears. It did? Yes. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> I think it's your mic. How did you got this around me? I wanted them to know that I really, truly appreciate all of their hard work and sacrifice. And when I put on the bottom, your number one flaunt fan, I really meant I'm their number one fan. I hate not knowing. I hate surprises. I love surprises, but I don't like not knowing. <laughs> so I went around to the scheduled photo shoot that Mike and Angie had with the legendary Michael Lichter. He, he liked to get us like during sunset, so tomorrow at sunset. As soon as I walked up, Michael Lichter asked if we could, you know, push it back to tomorrow night. Tomorrow? Yeah. Would that be all right? I didn't think twice about it. I just kept walking. I don't really feel like being around Michael right now. Good to see you, man. Nice to see you again. Michael and I have our arguments and our disagreements about things, but this ain't our first rodeo. We've been through it many times before. What? Please stop being nice. I will. I'm doing everything you're asking me to do. We've kind of crossed that, what I call the five-year hump. You know, a lot of a lot of couples last about four years or five years, and then that's when it really gets hard for couples to stay together. <laughs> We're settling in, I guess, you know, if, if you will. We're settling into each other, and, and it's, it's good. I love you. I love you, too.
always surprise us. Today, we come into a dressing room filled with eight roses and a $100 tip. Like, who does that? We're all like, who was it? It's the home stretch, so we're kind of in a groove. It went really great. So I have been in promotion mode. And the bourbon is coming out real soon. I mean, I've been, I've been out there pushing this Jesse James beer and the Jesse James whiskey hardcore. If you get a chance, check it out, man. It's good beer, man. Check it out. I've been going out there, pushing, let people know that it's out there and stuff, signing the cases of beer. Well, enjoy it, brother. Enjoy All right, it. Thank you. I've been marketing my ass off. I've been putting Jesse James stickers on everything, everybody. What's up, man? Here's Kathy with the big Jesse James bourbon across her chest. I mean, they are drawing some great attention. Wow. We're gonna go back and get the bourbon now. So I go in the liquor room to start my Jesse James whiskey promotions. So where's the Jesse James whiskey at? One bottle right there. I don't know where the case is. One bottle. That's all that's left. Out of, we All those cases are gone. This is the only bottle that's left. There's nothing else in this room. 30 cases gone. You're not with me? My job's not with you. If Mike sent those cases back, I'm going to be flipping out. with the choice that my wife gave me. It was the throttle or her. It was going to be the throttle because I don't quit. I'm off the clock. I'm going to go find a quiet corner to sit down and relax in. Because I know she's not going to leave me. I have two wives, Debbie and the full throttle. <laughs> We're all still a family. I do know that. You know what? It's really no big deal. I'm actually going to stop by the tattoo artist place in Ohio. He said he'd give me one better than he was going to give me here anyway, for the same price. I win no matter what. How we look at on the bartenders? Are all our bars covered? So we're shorthanded all the way around the block from bar bags to, to bartenders. Um, we had to struggle tonight to get people from first shift to work second shift to try to fill spots and pulling people from different places to come in and fill all the bar spots. Hey, how many girls in here tonight? Just two? Two. So we're missing one? Yes. Can y'all handle it? Yes. So a few of the bars didn't get open. Some of the bars only manned with one bartender. But the day crew actually came through, they pulled some doubles, and they had a couple employees that had to go out and march in. I'll buy you a shot of that Go for it, girl. What's up? Damn it, we're short tonight. Yeah, we brought in some because we held the people just got where they didn't show up. Yeah, we might want to watch her. You know, a lot of new girls never worked here before. They don't know the routine. They don't know what to do. There's got to be a way to keep them bitches here all week. We should take their tips and put them in a thing and keep them till the end of the rally. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if they don't show up every day, then we take the tips from them and pull them out to the other girls. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll see where we're standing in the morning and the a.m. Winding down to the end. A couple days left, we got her. It's only going to get worse. So that's becoming a huge issue right now, is, is, is getting enough labor in here to get us through to the end of the week. This place 
so special to me because my new last name is going to be Laura Sturgis. We came here and we're having so much fun. He's going to Vegas, but we are going to have more fun at the Full Throttle than he'll have at Vegas any day. It's Friday, basically the last day before the rally's over, so that's usually when, when it's our turn to drink. I just have fun, you know? It's fun. Sure, I have a little liquid encouragement. I am seriously freaking scared of this right now. There's the goat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. They'll probably say, hey, goat, let's try this again. No, it's not going to happen. I, maybe. <laughs> Play! Wake up! Play! Play! Polly, come on, let's go. No, I'm all right right now. No, come on. Your room stinks. Come on, dude. Where's yeah. your boobies? He's a party pooper. He's like Jesse. You know what? I give a Let's barricade him in. Crazy drinking, hard drinking people. And it's an interesting night here at the problem. Uh oh. Michael Bowers. I need another drink. I think I'm. I think I'm done. We gotta take our pregnancy test tomorrow. Whatever. <laughs> You're the one that said, uh, let's do it. Baby. You're such a dork. I waited till the end of rally two to take the pregnancy test. And, you know, I, of course, every day I wanted to take it. Just how biology works, you have to wait till that certain day for it to even read whether it is negative or positive. Oh, Lord, am I gonna be a daddy? Yeah. Think I'll be a good daddy? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's the time for us to start our family, and I'm ready for it. I'm over ready for it. I was ready for it yesterday. Michael, however, I think is a little, ugh. You're going to spoil him and teach him how to break rules, and I'm going to be trying to teach him how not to break rules. You're going to be like, here, let me show you, son. Well, if it's a boy, I'll make him be a boy. I want him to be a boy. Well, of course, but boys can be boys without breaking the rules and the law all the time. You're talking to guys never been married, never had any kids. I've had girlfriends and stuff, but I'm scared to death over it. You know, I mean, it's a big step. Mm. Is Mike back here? I go down to the liquor room and all of my whiskey is gone. 30 boxes of boxes of liquor. Where this is the only bottle. Where's the where, where's my liquor at? I don't know what the hell's going on. So I go to confront Michael Ballard. Where's Mike? What the hell is going on? Where's all of my whiskey at? It's about to get real ugly. I go down to the liquor room and all of my whiskey is gone. I don't know what the hell's going on. So I go to confront Michael Ballard. Where's my fing liquor at? Where's all that liquor? I tell you, Ron, if you just zip that country ass mouth of yours about to go back earlier, I'd have told you then. That's my man because you took your the ten dollar cover charge at the door. All right? Yeah, I had a table set up, Jesse James liquor, bourbon, and every mother every bottle, every bottle but one one of them. They got a free shot of your sampling your product at that front door last night. We got rid of all 30 cases of that product to promote that brand for you. That's what happened to it. 
right in the heat of the argument, I noticed that there's 2,000 people that have kind of gathered around us watching us go at it. It's, it's a strange situation to be in. Tell me another promoter in the country that hires Jackal and just does it for free. Nobody. And it was 10 bucks, they got a free mixed drink, and that. If I'd have charged for that, that'd have been like 15 bucks until they come out, saving $5 for that. You're doing it. But there ain't nothing about wanting to do the right thing. But, but I did the right thing by him. Yeah, I think he just got emotional. It's been a long week. Maybe just all that weight that was on him, and he pulled that show off, and he felt good about it, and all of a sudden he thought this was a negative thing. Why didn't you tell me? I tried to tell you, but you wasn't listening. You I would a big old tantrum and took no, off. Right, right. Right. I didn't know. It's just you didn't know. You should you didn't tell me beforehand. You I ain't seen you. Up. Jumped out of a bridge last night and I ain't seen you since. Damn, I mean, you know how I feel. I mean, I just want that, that night. I want everybody to just talk. Not everybody was happy as they could be. Oh, we just got to get together for next year. I'd we can totally do that. But you're as guilty as I am. You bust in here halfway through the rally with 30 cases of liquor and go, hey, look at here what I got. I got 30 cases of liquor. And I'm like, that's 10,000 shots you're talking about. You're trying to make me get around. Then he flipped it around on me and said, you want to talk about surprises and not knowing nothing? I didn't know you were showing up with 30 cases. I'm man enough to say, you know what? Tip for tat, and this is his business. Fair enough. The thing that Jesse needs to understand is that I got his back. I've always had his back. He's always had my back. He just needs to accept the fact that I'm going to do the right thing. Because, because I got my ass handed to me on that damn cover charge thing. I didn't know Mike was giving away all that Jesse James whiskey. So, hey man, it's all good, isn't it? So it's the end of the rally, and everybody's got a short fuse, including myself. But Thursday night, that's Jackal night, and man, I want it to be dead on. Jesse, best yes. concert ever last night, dude. Thank you so much, oh, man. I my brought my brother-in-law. It's his first year here. Hey, I said we up? gotta go to Jackal. We have got to go to Jackal. I know what kind of beast the Full Throttle Saloon is to open. I know the financial burden Mike's under. All the national acts on the main stage, the sideshow bands, the freak shows. I mean, it's well over a $2 million investment. Every single season comes around when he has to open the doors. Hey, thank you again so much. I get it. It's his business. You know what? And if this is the direction we're going, as long as I can tell everybody for this whole next year what we're doing and everybody knows what they're walking into, I'm good with that. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. One more day. It's on the downhill swing. There's too big of discrepancies in this. That's why I'm freaking out. The first thing that pops in my head is internal theft. How many closeouts are we missing? It is Ursula's job to find all of these problems out. I'm not sure about that. This is what we call locals night. I expect a lot of drunk people. Oh. What is happening here? I have to take my pregnancy test today. Michael's a little, ooh, baby. Right now on Full Throttle Saloon. This is what we call locals night. I expect a lot of drunk people. Oh. <laughs> What is happening here? There's too big of discrepancies in this. That's why I'm freaking out. The first thing that pops in my head is internal theft. How many closeouts are we missing? I have to find that money. Yes. Look, she's kissing. Here we go again. I asked her. I don't think I'm going to come back next year. That's it. Bye, Sturgis. I have to take my pregnancy test today. Michael's a little, ooh, baby. I'm scared to death over it, you know? Good morning. One more day. What time did you go to bed last night? Mm, Four-ish.
My sister, we're only 13 months apart. We're so super close and, and always have been. Oh, God, that thing in my back is killing me. It's my psychotic nerve. It's almost over with. Today. Just today. I have to take my pregnancy test today. Really? How cool. I waited till the end of rally to take the pregnancy test. And, you know, I, of course, every day I wanted to take it. But just how biology works, you have to wait till that certain day for it to even read whether it is negative or positive. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to be a mom. I'm ready for it. I'm over ready for it. I was ready for it yesterday. We're going to get something from my, for Michael from Flaunt. We thought maybe get something antique for him because he's got like all the signs and stuff. And Bruce said, just found an antique baby carriage. <laughs> we'll get his mind on baby land. I'm scared to death over it. You know, I mean, it's a big step for me. I'm ne I, you're talking to guys that's never been married, never had any kids. OK, let's get these. This is really exciting news. Angie is really has been trying to get pregnant. And I hope that today's a good news day. Welcome everyone once again. It is Saturday. It is the end of the rally. We got a drowning pool tonight. We didn't do hip hop this year. We switched it over. We got a band called Drowning Pool coming in, which is a heavier rock band. But they're a big band. They used to have a song called Let the Bodies Hit the Floor. It was a big hit. They're a heavy rock band. Got my fingers crossed. And hopefully we'll have another good day. A lot of the bikers have already left because they they want to get home. They want to be home tomorrow by Sunday. So we get what well, we get tonight, so we try to pull a lot of locals in. For, for tonight. We're gonna still get that younger group in to party and it'll be a rowdier crowd than we've had all week for sure. you get sucked into this 30 acres. I mean, it's just overwhelming the full throttle saloon, you know. So after you get almost through the week, you know, it's good to grab Paul and go downtown, survey, see how many bikes and people are shopping and that kind of thing. Overall, we've had a great rally. What about you guys? And it's just a validation of just how down the overall rally was this year. Every other venue in town had their ass handed to them. Not as good as last year? I'm not as many people as last year. All the other venues in town were down, but the crowds kept coming back night after night because they were having a great time. So that's pretty wild. She said that downtown's been kind of dead this week, huh? Yeah, really. I mean, with the crowds we've had. And after hearing the horror stories of how bad business was all over town, I think it validates that our taking it to the next level paid off. Let's get back to the throttle and find out what kind of <laughs> falling apart. Pull and round full throttle saloon. Um, I kind of wanted to wait till after rally a little bit, but um, I don't think I'm going to come back next year. What do you mean you're not coming back? I don't want this to be my last year, but I have a full-time job back at home, and I take my vacation time to come out here, which is fine, but now my time isn't free anymore. I'm getting married, and we got four kids now and stuff, and... Uh, you got four kids? She's got two boys and I got two girls, and they're from 13 years old to seven years old. So, you know, they're gonna be 18 and before I know it. And You know, I understand that he's gotten his kids and now he's got a lot more responsibility on his plate and he's gonna be missed. I can't take the time anymore. I was here before the bridges and everything else. I mean, it was just a little small field in the courtyard. So I've watched and helped build this thing up and it's hard to leave when you, when you help build and be a part of the team and stuff. And I'll see you some other time. You've done an awesome job, brother. Thanks, I appreciate your coming. Shut the hell up! What's up, brother, man? Checking it out. We were able to lock down one of my favorite rock bands, Drowning Pool. These guys are from Texas. They kick it out loud and proud. Leave it to my boys from Texas to come up here and them kick some know? ass and save the day. That's what I'm talking about. We normally do a hip hop local night on a Saturday night. night, but you know. There you go. There you go. I figure, I figure, I figure you white boys can whip it out. Yeah, yeah. 
With Drowning Pool being a big mainstream band and it being so cheap to get in, I expect the wild, crazy night that every Saturday night is. My Drowning Pool boys are bringing. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I need a chicken fajita. Pork's right there. We got any chicken running? I don't even give a if I ever hear Fajita Mike's name again. Hook me up with one, all right? We don't need them. We don't need them. We proved that. Rusty stepped up to the place and took it, and yeah, he had some trouble, but guess what? He got the job done. This is 10 times better than Fajita Mike's fajitas. They're not near as dirty. They don't have that gritty gravel taste. When I commit myself to something, I do it with all my heart, man. I, I'm not going halfway with it. I don't care. Even when I screw up, I go big time. Fajita Rusty. You want me just to sort money so that... Be ready tomorrow. We don't have the big boxes. Yes. You know, uh, it's getting towards the end of the week. Um, I have 50 fires I have to put out because I've been stuck in the dungeon, making sure that the, the banking is, is taken care of. I'll show you what I got for a box of T-shirts. How many closeouts are we missing? I don't know. That's why I'm freaking out. That's right there's no right there. Right here, look at this. Ursula Ward, main day. $16,217 adjusted, cashing back $8,500 and something. You know, with things not adding up in the t-shirt deal, the first thing that pops in my head is internal theft. It's $1,000 off from the adjusted total. I don't know, dear. I'm not taking care of your shirts. This too big of discrepancies in this <laughs> This is Baby, I've been trying to tell you all freaking week about our t-shirts. Tell Ursula to come in here. It could mean anything from you got a girl that just can't count money, which should not be on your register in the first place, to it could be something that they're stealing from you. You never know. I want that money back right now. That is not happening. With thousands of dollars missing from the t-shirt stores, Angie is scrambling to find answers. But, and I am extremely concerned if you're not getting three tills twice a day, because then we're incredibly, incredibly short. This is all the envelopes I got for the 11th. I have some issues in my t-shirt building. That stuff has to be accounted for. And that's why I'm like freaking out, because okay. Thursday is like our biggest day. You know, when it comes to those t-shirt closeouts, they're, they're a huge, huge important part of, of us being able to pay bills. I have no days on You have nothing school. else for this? No, this is all I got for the Thursday oh, night. Oh, you're missing stuff. That's why I say it. That's why I was telling you that I'm missing envelopes. You are missing envelopes. We are missing some bags of cash, and we're not exactly sure where they are. Do you see why I was freaking out? I totally see why you're freaking out. Basically, how it works is as we clock a girl out off of her shift. All of her money and everything goes straight into the bank. I walk the girl to the bank, and the girl checks this in with their banker so that those guys have an idea of how much they've done that day. But I don't know that procedure past the bank, bank room. Yeah, we're missing two, three, four, five, six bags. In my head, I'm thinking, what is happening here? Is someone stealing from me? How can all those be gone? I don't know. This is all that got brought to me. I'm just freaking out. That's our biggest day. We got a little full throttle of the wine. It makes it everything fine. Hey, uh, my vocals got to come up. My vocals are going to come on up. A lot of that. All of that. Hey. So it's the end of the week, and I'm trying to check off the final things on my to-do list, one of which was to get this album recorded and to get a video shot. Well, I like better than chicken. I like laughing better so than That is so terrible for it to be off like that. So we got to get it in sync. When you bring all that recording equipment up there, things don't always line up properly. Why is it always so? Damn it. Are you for real? It's just frustrating, technical difficulty after technical difficulty, but you gotta make it rock.
Y'all gonna hang out? We're gonna, we're gonna shoot a video if you guys wanna be part of it in a little bit. And it's only fitting that we shoot a video back over in the corner of the Full Throttle Saloon with all of our friends and family and the Flock Girls being part of it. There's one part where y'all are, all, everybody's about to scream, better than chicken. Testify? Testify. Testify? Yeah. Oh, For Thursday night, t-shirts, have y'all got the list of checkouts and ends? Yes, we do not have those tent ones out here. That's what I'm worried about. You know, with things not adding up in the t-shirt deal, I kind of started going through some of the tapes. Because when you're cashing out teals that are 4,000, 3,000, 5,000, there's something wrong with this deal. I don't know what it is yet. See, like, they were checked in. Here's a tent. I just don't have envelopes back there for them. You know, when it comes to those t-shirt closeouts, Michael has put me in charge of that kind of stuff, and I'm the one responsible and held accountable for when none of it comes together. See how this is going? Yeah, see, yeah, those numbers are wrong, but then also the bigger issue is that all the bags We don't have all these closeouts. In. That's big money I'm losing right there. I mean, we probably lost several thousand dollars. We only have three of these 12 or 10 or whatever. That's bull What's up, Full Throttle Saloon? How y'all doing today? Hope you're having a great day today. It's Saturday, kind of sort of the end of the rally. We always kick it off with a, well, we call it the local show. We invite the locals up, we party, we hang out with them. Tonight, of course, we have Drowning Pool on our main stage tonight. So this is the end of it, guys. It's the last night that we have to be here doing this. Let's get through it safe and make sure that we all go home and everybody's good to go at the end of the night. You have a big generation gap here. You have a very young audience coming to the Full Throttle Saloon tonight. And that mixes with the traditional rally crowd, which is the, the biker crowd, the guy that's been riding for 15 years. And when those two mix, they don't see eye to eye on everything. So that's what we're trying to mitigate tonight. There's a good chance there could be some moshing going on and a younger, tougher crowd. We're going to inspect bags, look inside bags, make a visual inspection for any weapons. We're expecting to deal with group fights. We're expecting more of that type of behavior. All the locals will be here. We will have a whole bunch of crap to deal with. I've always believed that it's the combination of the local crowd mixing with the non-local crowd that makes tonight more volatile than other nights here. I have to take my pregnancy test today. Are you ready to take it? Are you ready for me to take it? I'm scared. <laughs> Like it's <laughs> we're really gonna take a pregnancy test? Huh? <sighs> Whatever, <laughs> you're such a dork. <laughs>